Moto Z Play, and Xiaomi Redmi 4 Prime. Both are equipped with the Snapdragon 625 processor and 3GB of RAM. But there is a huge price difference between these two devices. So is the price equal to the performance? Let's find out. In this video, we are going to have a speed test for these two devices and let's see which device is able to open all the apps in a shorter time and also testing on the memory management. This is Sean from Translation Tech. You're watching my speed test comparison of the Moto Z Play and Xiaomi Redmi 4 Prime. Let's get started. The memory is empty and let's start. By the way, there is no power saving mode turned on for the Redmi 4 Prime. Until now, the speed is almost equal, no one is faster than the other. Seems like we have a hiccup while opening the S Pop 8, but Moto Z Play is still managed to complete the loading faster than the Redmi 4 Prime and already start on the second row of applications. Moto Z Play has finished the first round with 1 minute and 13 seconds, while the Redmi 4 Prime is still loading the Google page. Redmi 4 Prime is just 7 seconds behind finish at 1 minute and 20 seconds, while Moto Z Play is loading the Subway Surf, the lower price device seems to have everything in the memory. Redmi 4 Prime has completed the higher intensive app, while Moto Z Play has just completed loading the first app. Impressive. As you can see, just like previous Moto Z Play comparison, the device is also loading the second application. Basically, Redmi 4 Prime has kept everything in the memory, so the winner of memory management goes for the Redmi 4 Prime at 1 minute and 45 seconds. The Moto Z Play has completed at 2 minutes and 2 seconds, which is around 17 seconds behind. In the speed comparison, Moto Z Play has took the lead with an advantage of 7 seconds. While the total 2 rounds, the Redmi 4 Prime has come back with the impressive memory management. So basically, these two devices are sharing almost similar specs with each other except the camera and modular feature. So do you think it is worth to pay a higher price for those features? Tell me in the comments below. I hope this video is able to help you to compare the speed of these two devices and show you the difference. If you would like to see other kind of comparison, tell me in the comments below. That's all for the speed comparison. Like the video if you like it, dislike the video if you dislike it. You can leave your comments below to tell me your thoughts and your feedback is always welcome. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.